Good morning everybody, it is April 19th and right now we're going to take a quick look at VeChain uh, just to see what the price action is telling us. Uh, VeChain uh, did great still yesterday with all the with all the craziness that's happened in the crypto market and all the retracements we had, which we're still trying to fully recover from. I wouldn't say we fully recovered from it yet, but we're seeing signs of recovery and we're seeing that we were almost halfway through in terms of um, uh, Bitcoin and all the other major cryptocurrencies. But for now, VeChain yesterday, you know, as soon as we drop back down to the um, 16 point eight cents or 17 cents if you might say um uh, right away we saw the um uh, it got bought up within within no time back up to the opening price at the uh, 22 cents 22.5 cents and buyers actually pushed way past and then we went back to the 25 cents like uh like there was no problem right so we're seeing that there's a lot of interest right now in the market for uh v chain and um uh, yeah uh, every every dip is being uh, bought right away and a lot of a lot of uh, buyers and investors are seeing a lot of opportunities on there so and i see everyone in the comments always um uh, liking the way um v chain is and uh, what's happening so far so i'm uh, pretty sure that's uh, probably mostly uh, we're seeing that being reflected on the price action and we're seeing that, you know, <clears throat> that's basically the whole market and that's how VeChain's VeChain's finally uh, getting the um, uh, interest and the uh, shine it, it, uh, it's been, everyone's been waiting for. So right now, this is what the chart looks like. Right now, we're going to discuss the major support and resistance levels um, on a higher on a higher time frame here um, uh, for V chain. So if we look from the daily all the way down almost to the six hour, we are due for a bit of a pullback. Uh, we're seeing that, uh, which is fine, right? We we uh, there's a bit of support and resistance lines that we need to take a look at. But overall, we're seeing that the volume has been really decreasing um, uh, today. You know, one, two, three, four, five, six. So for the past six days, we've been above our um, average. Uh, volume on the daily chart and um, today obviously we still have 10 hours for the day to go but you'll see how close uh, we are to the um, average uh, volume so showing that there is less and less interest in the current trade with a trend which is fine um, but overall obviously we still need to wait to see for what happens on the 10 hours then i think that's gonna because that's what we need a bit right we go up we need but we need a bit of a breathing room we need a bit of a retracement to go back down retest those slower um levels um for example the uh, 23 all from the 23 and a half all the way to the 24 uh point me i would say and a half as well as b is the uh place where right now we are finding that support so that's good uh, but those uh, definitely we need to acknowledge those higher time frames right now that are actually telling us that hey look we need we need a bit of a breathing room here so buyers have been pushing the price up a bit of retracement is not bad um uh, right now you know obviously stochastic rsi and rsi are way oversold they've been oversold since the beginning of the month um uh, macd has been kind of flattening out as well we need to wait for the 10 hour to see it the macd is telling us hey that the momentum to the upside has kind of been um subsiding a bit and sellers might start to come in soon so overall on those higher time frames um we are overbought uh, yesterday we saw this nice long wick to the bottom so buyers are actually in the market um uh, stochastic and rsi are uh, overbought MACD is kind of flattening down and the volume is really low so that's on on those higher time frames if you go down a bit to the middle time frames here maybe if you go to the 10 hour um uh, <clears throat> this is what we're seeing just so we see the, the price action get a, a a bit more clear um overall looks like we have been losing a bit of steam so if we look at the uh, macd over here we've been losing that steam for a while since the beginning uh, since mid-april um uh, we're having that um uh, for the past couple of days i would say two or three days uh we are losing that steam we're losing that momentum which obviously see that happening in the uh in the price action um overall uh we're still we're still getting bought up we can see it here if i zoom in 23 and a half to the uh, 24 dollars also coincides with where the uh, vpvr here is showing us the um, uh, trading activity at those different price levels as opposed to the volume over here showing the total volume at a certain candle we're seeing right now that we are trying to find that support overall that was the region that uh, vchain has been getting rejected of and as soon as we broke out of it you saw that it shot up right now we're coming to retest it so that's what it could mean right on the higher time frames over here daily uh, we're seeing that uh, we are due for a bit of a pullback on you know as we get closer to those lower time frames as well you see that we've been losing that momentum already so it could be just the fact that 
this momentum uh, that's being lost on lower time frames had been haven't really got to those higher time frames uh, for it to uh, be reflected there yet so we're seeing that that's on the 10 hour uh, we are in that range so you can see here somewhere at the 23.4 uh, cents is where VeChain has been getting rejected off repeatedly since um, April 16th we went back down obviously whatever happened yesterday then again nice bullish candle just took over the previous one and again we still got um, rejected off of it but the fact that this bullish candle came in right after this craziness is just showing you that VeChain's price action is resilient and right away uh, we shot up still got rejected and boom next day this is where we're at so right now what i think is happening is that we're going up we're coming back to retest this level we still haven't really fully uh retested it yet that's still on uh, mid time frames but looks like you know we're seeing those swings to the bottom we still have six hour for this uh, 10 hour chart uh, for this 10 hour candle to finish but this is where we're sitting at right now and um uh, Overall, we're seeing those uh, indecisive candles, which is fine. We broke above, we go sideways, the buyers and the sellers are fighting. The narrow uh, candle uh, uh, body here is showing us that uh, uh, there is a bit of a fight happening. Wick to the upside, but as well wick to the downside. Then again, right now, wick to the upside and another uh, longer wick to the um, downside as well. Buyers are rejecting any further price movement to the bottom and sellers as well are in the market. So um, we gotta 100% we gotta keep that in mind. Uh, but it does coincide with the fact that we need to a bit, have a bit of a retracement over on this side. So um, MACD has been down ticking for a bit. So it doesn't necessarily need to go all the way to the negative here where sellers are in complete control. Uh, it could be just the fact where, hey, look, we've been we've been really uptrending for a while here since since the beginning of April. And right now, buyers need to take a little bit of a breathe and uh, just chill out for a bit. That's what I think could be happening. Um, uh, overall, this could still go all the way to the negative, but we're going to identify more and more support zones here uh, that we, you need to keep an eye out for before we um, just to give us that confidence that, hey, even if we actually retrace, uh, we are we do have a lot of cushion as we go down. Um, uh, but that's uh, that's that's for the MACD itself. We're seeing those in the size of candles. We are close to a support, right? So it looks like from the higher time frames going to the lower time frames, we are reaching a support, right? So we're having some sort of a confluence here between those what those uh, higher and mid time frames here are telling us. Um, we are due for a bit of retracement, and that's fine because we just broke out, and then we're retracing back to uh, find the support. So as we move and move closer towards the zone over here, we should be finding that support, and um, um, it would it would it would satisfy the those mid and high time frames, and um, we'll just see here in a bit of lower time frame what I, what's actually um, going on. So in a lower time frame here on the uh, two hour. Uh, it's painting the picture perfectly for what we uh, what's going on so far. Uh, this is a beautiful, you know, textbook movement. I'll explain what this pattern is here for. It's just a, a bull flag. But right now we are testing this level. We need to see VeChain testing it for sure. Uh, overall, uh, this is the has been a resistance for the longest time. One, two, three, four, five um overall i would say even here six you know we see as soon as we got to it we played around for a bit so we saw a bit of resistance then as soon as we broke out of it we shot up again right now if anything when it comes down here uh, it would definitely act as a support for sure so somewhere along somewhere between again the 23 all the way to the 24 dollars is where that support should be and overall if we're looking at the uh, stochastic and, and our side themselves, they are trying to head down to the bottom, um, which we're seeing right now, which is fine. And we're seeing that the MACD already went to the negative. So on the uh, two hour time frame, uh, sellers just got control. Now we need to see if buyers are actually coming in. So if you even zoom in here for a bit, the fact that we're having the volume play out in this manner over here, that's something we constantly see. You know, we have a bit of a crazy movement then we just get so quiet and then it starts to pick back up again and that's what i think is going to happen here soon guys as soon as those lower time frames over here let's just we give the sellers a bit of time to actually gain that momentum let them you know we're gonna have to fight it out a bit here and then we um within the next i would say by the end of the day here see how many cup uh, we need to see maybe three four five uh, two hour candle play out along this zone and actually buyers start to, start to jump in then we will start seeing that 
translate those mid time frames and then up to the higher time frame. So this is pretty good. It's pretty healthy the way uh, this uh, price action is going so far. And I think soon enough here is going to start getting crazy as soon as we reach somewhere uh, at that support or if this support line actually does hold um, overall. So stochastic RSI, same thing with the MACD. They are as well due for a pullback, which has been happening soon here. We need to see how that play out at the end of the day. But um, uh, when we zoom in a bit on uh, this over here, it looks like we've been a, a stuck in a bull flag that V chain did actually just break out of. Overall, you know, after an uptrend, we get stuck in a downward channel, and you probably see, even see on the one hour here, we get stuck in a downward channel where the uh, resistance. Is all the way here supports all the way in the bottom you know uh, sellers are more aggressive buyers are uh, more uh, weak you know because we're having lower lows but as soon as we have a breakout we actually shoot up so that's something even um, overall I'll, I'll leave the link in the comment uh, in the uh, description for you to just check out what a bull flag is but usually the way you would aim for a breakout out of this region is that you would take the uh, distance of the pole of that flag right and then you project it exactly here somewhere here and then you'll see where the um, next movement is or where traders will be aiming to actually take that uh, profit and we're looking at somewhere around the 30 i would say 30, so 30 cent if anything somewhere like this over here so that's something we need to keep in mind i think that's probably the next uh uh, target for uh, V chain, the next biggest resistance that we're gonna have, and it's pretty good right now because as soon as we break out, we come back to retest, and then we had this massive um, uh, zone that we needed to actually break out of as well. You can see here on the VPVR. Right now, we're coming back to retest. So these are the criteria we need to keep in mind. We have to retest this region, and this has to hold. That's the biggest thing. We really need to hold. And if you're looking at the one hour here, the MACD, the the, the sellers already had the, uh, their shine for a bit, right? We're already seeing that we're all the way here in the bottom with the MACD. So maybe sometime soon here, within the next hour or two, we're gonna start seeing, you know, if buyers are, if this is, if this is bullish. That's what you need to keep in mind. You need to see how the market reacts to this. If this is bullish, then we are do for a to find that support over here and right now this is what it looks like right we we had a bit of higher volume over here and as we move away from this uh, peak that we had uh we start you know the sellers start coming in uh, uh the selling volume starts to increase overall and as you move somewhere towards the support the volume will start to um uh, go very quiet which telling us uh, which tells us that in the current trend that's going on which is a downward uh, trend which is a retracement there's less and less interest so that's what we need to see overall you can see here buyers have been in complete control uh, sellers sorry have been in complete control we're seeing um buy buyers reject any price uh, movement to the bottom we're seeing them push up right away and right now this is a very nice candle it's just telling us that you know buyers have um, rejected that price movement and actually pushed past it uh, pushed uh, past the opening price all the way um, up to here so uh, pretty this is pretty critical zone that we need to find the buyers actually uh, come in we're seeing a retest right now so this is a critical time for VeChain definitely and um, yeah it's pretty exciting now let's just say this just completely crashes right so we always need to keep that in mind let's just say this completely tra crashes where do we need to where do we find that support and where do we expect it to be at we know exactly that this line over here will act as a support and a very strong support indeed it's been acting as a resistance for the longest time and uh, we know for a fact as well that the uh, 55 ema so if i just take all of this away for you so you don't you know again grill me in the comments 100 200 ema and let's just forget about this so this is the 55 ema on the two hour you can tell every time we rechase we find support at it every time we rechase support at it support at it again here support at it and right now, you know, if, if uh, buyers start to come in here, we we kind of uh, slow down that downward movement. This guy is going to start catching up to us and we'll have something like this. Right. Something like this where it catches if we have the same slope overall. Right. So there's a lot of cushion behind us. There's a lot of cushion behind us. So that's something we need to keep in mind. But anyways, I'm going to stop talking here. Target price for V chain. If this remains, if we do find that support, that's the main criteria. We need to find that support. Give it a bit, give it a day or so. And the price target is at the 30 cents. Support zones 23 to 24 right now. And if not, sometime soon around this region is where we uh, need to find it. 
Uh, but that's pretty much it for me. Thank you for watching. If uh, Let me know in the comment section if you agree or disagree with my, with my analysis. If you like the video, please press the uh, like button, comment, share, subscribe. And uh, join our Patreon if you would like to support us. It would definitely help out the channel a lot. Uh, thank you for watching. Have a great day.